I am so excited that I just got this unit in the mail and we're gonna hop right in and flip through every one of these books. Let's start with the course book. So we've got a table of contents. Looks like we have 14 lessons. We have information about the unit and videos and things. And here's the book pack and stuff about the lesson extensions, which I love to do with my kiddos, even though they're not at this age, we do them together as a family. Supplies needed. I like to look through the lessons when there's an item that I do not have to see if I'm actually going to do that activity before I go and purchase the item. Okay, we've got supplies needed for everyone. The vocabulary words here. I like to just leave them in the book and put a little sticky flag on it and then just review each of the words we've covered with every lesson as we introduce new ones. And here you'll see the lesson extensions that takes you to that. And right here you see where it takes you to their student journal outside of the lesson extensions to do the activities that are in there. Oh, I love this part. I like to do these live so that you guys can get it as soon as I get it to my doorstep. So if at any time you want it to be moving a little bit quicker, there is a little settings button down in the bottom right hand corner and you can go ahead and click on that and adjust the speed. You can speed me up, slow me down, whatever you need so that you can get the most out of this flip through. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Oh, here's the answer key, it looks like. built. Yep, there's the key. So in their journal, they will have this without it, and you'll just have that available for you. I hope you're finding flip-throughs to be helpful. If you are, I would appreciate a thumbs up, maybe a comment. Let me know if you're going to be using this unit this year or if you're going to be setting, saving it for next year. All of that engagement helps YouTube know that this video is useful and it will push it out to other families who are also looking for this curriculum. Wait, wait a minute, I need to go back here. It's gonna be talking, is it gonna be talking about the melanin? Maybe, maybe not. That's cool though. Oh. All right, let's check out the student journals. Let's start with three through six. So this is for the younger kiddos. My kiddos that aren't even in this level really love to have their own copy to just do what they can do at the level that they can. Oh, we love all, we love all about the development of babies. That's just one of the favorite topics in my house. Building a healthy meal. And here's that word search. We are currently in the middle of the help the safety unit and we have really been enjoying that. So we're excited to do this one after it. So here we got the lesson extension and it's just more bones at birth. Just, you know, interesting topics that I don't think we want to miss. So we just go ahead and cover it. When we finish the lesson, we jump right into the extension, dental care over the years. And we have found a lot of value in it for my kiddos that aren't even in this grade, this grade, this level. Looks like this book is very similar in the activities for within the lesson, outside of the extensions. Kidney transplants. Now, because I don't have kiddos up in this level, what I do with my kiddo that's kind of in between the two books is um, we look at the book together and decide which one will best meet the level 
that she is at. And then if, if this one works, great, she can use it. If not, I will purchase another three through six one. And then when we get to the extension, if she's not quite done with it, I might take a photocopy of it so I can read it and we can keep going while she finishes up the activity. All right, book pack. So these are the two books that come in the book pack and they come shrink wrapped for you. We'll take a look at amazing facts, 50 amazing facts about bones. Just kind of move through it pretty quick. If you've made it this far and you like what you're seeing, consider subscribing. On this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. And a lot of that for us is homeschool curriculum because that is something I am very much a touch and feel kind of person. And I like to get a full view of what I'm purchasing before I get it. And since I'm not by the Good and the Beautiful store, I looked to videos. And since I, was, I wasn't finding many that gave me that information, like very in depth, like the Osborne flip throughs. So I decided that after trying out enough of the Good and the Beautiful's curriculum to know that I trust it and I love it, I will do the flip throughs for you guys so that you can get a feel for what you're getting if you're thinking of whether or not to get it. I like that it is actually going through the timeline of a cold. Okay, this is the optional read aloud that kind of goes with the older grades, or not really read aloud. It's the book that goes for the older kids, and I usually do it as a read aloud. So it's the story of Dr. Daniel Hales, William, Daniel Hale Williams. There we go. And it's just going to be a chapter book. All right, so it does not look like there's anyone here for a live Q&A, but anytime I do a live, so when I am ordering all of the new science units as they are released and as they come to my door, I do a live the day or the day after it comes, depending on if it's my turn for routine night with the kids or my husband's. And then at the end of each video, I have a Q&A. So if you are on the replay and you want to catch the next live, keep an eye on my community tab or on my Instagram stories. And you will be able to see when I will be going live for the next curriculum. And you can hop on with me, ask me questions about the specific unit that I'm showing or any questions about the good and beautiful or homeschool or whatever questions you may have. If I don't catch it during the flip through, I'm happy to answer it at the end. If you're interested in more science units from the good and the beautiful, you should check out the playlist that we have. We also have playlists for language arts and math and a playlist for all of the good and the beautiful curriculum. I will have all of those linked in the description box as well as the playlist to the curriculum we use that is not from the good and the beautiful. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.